hey guys welcome back to our channel so i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in so so long and i miss talking to you guys honestly i miss having our one-on-one -on -one chats i miss doing hauls i miss just i don't know just talking to you guys so this video i'm going to be talking about my top 10 uh summer must-haves especially being a mommy so i know a lot of mommies can relate to everything that i have right now it was just like my everyday routines as well um things that i cannot live without in the summertime and i think that you guys can benefit from these too because i feel like not only mommies can relate to me i feel like other people can relate to me with my skin type um just people who are more you know like me you know so yeah let's get into it i am going to start with a bathing suit um especially i'm a mom so i have a mom bod uh a lot of the times i get bloated you know pretty easily because of my metabolism isn't where it was you know in my early 20s so i actually discovered a website called zaffle and this is not sponsored by the way but i do love their clothes and this bathing suit came fairly quickly i would kind of compare zaffle to fashion nova a little bit but i feel like zaffle fits more of um all body types i think fashion nova i feel like you have to have you know that curve that skinny waist and you know like the booty you know i work well with high-waisted things and you know things that complement complement my body type or shape so i actually got this really cute swimsuit and i am not in a two-piece i give props to the moms that are confident enough to show their tiger stripes or wear two-piece i have nothing against that at all like you know um but just for my comfort and you know just because i'm a mom i feel like this is more appropriate it has a really cute boho print which i really really like and for it to be a little more sexy or revealing it has this little cutout right here and it's a cutout that is like right it's kind of like okay so if you see this part it's kind of high-waisted right here but it has just enough cut out at the stomach part to where it doesn't show your bottom half of your stomach it just has like you know just a little bit of like sexiness and then it has these um spaghetti straps and i love this little tie this little knot tie right here so yeah it is a one piece and this is what the back of it looks like so i think that is in your must to um in my summer faves to have a really really cute swimsuit that's my first swimsuit that i bought this summer i am not a swimmer i don't like to um i don't really like to dip my whole body in just I just don't like doing that but I do do it sometimes for the kids and you know if I want to look cute while doing it that's my go-to swimsuit. So I feel that it is necessary for me to have S I think they're called espadrilles so they're more of like a platform um wedged kind of like it's not even a heel it's like it's more of it's flat. I feel like I can wear these at work. I do work in retail. And I do own about five pairs of these. I'm not going to lie. These have become my favorites for the summer. Um, these are my, the, my newest additions. I actually just bought these today at Target. Target is actually having a 20% off sale. So by the time you see this video, it'll still be going on. I think they just started doing it yesterday. Um, because yesterday is when all the Sunday ads and stuff come out. Today's Monday. So pretty sure you guys got the whole week to go and catch that sale. They're having a 20% off all sandals. So these were originally $32.99. I got them for $26.99. Can't beat them. And they're super, super comfortable. The other ones that I have, I do own a black pair and a tan pair. And they're super comfortable. I wear them to work all the time. And I know people think I'm crazy, but I'm so serious. These are my go-to shoes i don't like to wear tennis shoes um the only time i wear tennis shoes is at work sometimes i wear vans and i do wear flat sandals when i'm just you know going to the store but these are like literally my go-to and i love this color it reminds me of like a yellow sunflower color so well job well done target uh i would say my next summer must have which is number three on the list i would say you'd have to have a cute little boho bag or a small bag i usually wear a backpack because 
I have Dakota most of the time and I feel like backpacks are necessary to you know keep on both of your shoulders just you know I hate having like big purses where the strap slides down on my um, sh off my shoulder but I think this is really cute if you're not carrying too much and Dakota's at the age where I don't have to bring a lot of things with me um, you know so I think this is really cute if you just want to put your cell phone uh, maybe the touch up you know your lipstick or lip gloss or whatever have you uh, some keys and I don't know just whatever it's really cute and small I love this little clutch part um, I usually just wear it like this you know around my um, shoulder and I also got this from Target as well so I think this is a really cute summer must-have my hair gets really oily fast and right now it's pretty oily I'm probably it's probably time to wash my hair tomorrow um, I usually wash my hair once a week some people go two weeks some people go with go a month but personally I feel like I cannot unless I'm just not doing anything if I just like tie my hair up in a ponytail then that's fine to go over a week or whatever but I do use a shine spray I when I first straighten my hair I put oil in it I put this um what is it called I forgot it's a drugstore I m most of my products are like drug drugstore I mean it works for me but um I do put oils in my hair but like on my my last hair days I do use a shine spray and a shine spray it, it's not oily it's really like a dry spray and I feel like that's essential for the summertime because you don't want to be super greasy if your hair is super greasy then it gets on your skin and then it causes you to break out so i would recommend this bed head and shout out to my hairdresser because she recommended this to me um her old salon was having a uh buy five for 20 on these products and these are really worth it it usually retails for 20.99 but i got this for um i believe five dollars I had an Instagram thing I was looking at. Um, but I think I get really I got this for five dollars and you cannot beat this for five dollars. So when this is all gone, I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more on Amazon or on the website. You probably can find this at Sephora too. But I, I got this from my salon, but it's bedhead, it's called Head Rush Shine Spray with Super Fine Mist. And it smells so good. Like it's not heavy at all. It smells like summertime. You know, you just want to just quickly like shine, just spray your hair and go. You get that quick little shine without it being uh, oily. And speaking of oily, I live by Bautiste. So it is a dry shampoo. I usually rotate. Uh, this one I'm using Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. Uh, the original I like a lot too if you don't want to be overpowered by scents. But I do love this uh, sweet cherry smell it's perfect for summer and it literally smells like a light perfume in your hair you know if you're especially if you're going a couple of days without um washing your hair i feel like this is perfect because you know those of you guys know that if you go a couple of days without washing your hair it kind of gets like a little odor and you know uh, especially let's be real if you have dandruff you know that doesn't smell good you want to you know fake it fake it to make it to the last couple of days you just lift your I usually just lift my hair up where it's oily and I just spray and it's usually like a white powder and you just kind of just massage that in your hair and it does give you some volume like before this I was looking like toe up <laughs> my hair was like super flat and I did just get like a trim too but um it was super flat and I sprayed some of this and it just like fluffed up like that so I highly recommend this to you. You can get this at any drugstore or Sephora. What's up with me not having any tops to my stuff? Okay, um, we'll just go on to, okay, just regular beauty. So I do feel like it is necessary even though, um, even though if you're oily, I feel like it's necessary to keep your skin moisturized. And I use a very heavy moisturizer. This is my, um, not for my face, for my, just for my skin. I don't, 
I have a specific face routine that I have to do because my face is really, really oily, but my skin for some reason is really dry. I have eczema, so my go-to lotion is Nivea, and it is the Essentially Enriched um, formula. It says two times almond oil, and it says dry to very dry skin. I feel like I have um, very dry skin, and it works really good on my, especially my back, because I have like back... Um, eczema i don't have acne back acne i just have back eczema so i feel like it really like gets in there and moisturizes my skin without being overly oily um i would not recommend this on your face if you're very oily um honestly i wouldn't even recommend it on your face at all i feel like you know your face is different from your actual like skin so swear by this um also to go along with me just since i can't bring that to work with me or wherever i'm going and if i especially if i have a small purse i purchased these you can find them at target i, I bet you can find them at walmart too they're only a dollar and um they're basically hand cream i get really 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 ashy and dry especially in between the crevices of my fingers and it drives me so crazy especially if i am on the register and i'm handing people money it's kind of embarrassing to have super dry skin, so I just kind of keep this in my pocket as well. So uh, that's really nice to have. What I use to keep my face so matte, and because my face is so oily, um, not only to keep it matte and, um, you know, poreless, I use a SPF Solar Shield sunscreen and uh, it says it's oil free i actually got this from my acne care provider um it's she's not really a dermatologist she does my facials and stuff so um this stuff you cannot purchase i'm sorry i don't know maybe you can on amazon but i don't think you can it's lira but i do recommend going to a drugstore or a sephora or ulta and finding some type of SPF sunscreen for your face. Not only does it control oil, controls your oils and everything. To me, it acts as a primer for my makeup because whenever I don't use it, my makeup literally like slides off in the summertime. But um, I am wearing this right now. My face is pretty matte right now. It's not super oily. I put um, some highlight on. But um, not only does it act as a primer and a skin mattifier, but it also protects your skin from sun damage. Um, I do, my skin is acne prone. So whenever like I have acne or if I pop my pimples and I get like dark marks, when I'm not wearing makeup, I still apply it and it does protect the dark marks from getting any darker. You know, having sun blotches and stuff on your face um that causes you to get like dark marks and everything like that so um i do recommend a sunscreen and this is uh, spf 30 is what i'm using right now so i don't know i was i would say maybe look up some sunscreens but that is the one that works for me and i do get it from my um acne specialist also to keep my face super matte because it is super oily prone i have been using this maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation and i have been using it ever since i've been wearing makeup as long as i can remember i've probably switched it i don't know what this piece is doing back here but i probably switched my foundation a couple of times i have tried mac mac is not that great for your skin but i i love mac um also i love their lipsticks and things like that but i don't think that if you if you don't have acne prone skin um you know more power to you but i don't think it's good for acne prone skin and that's what i've been taught by my derma not dermatologist my acne specialist because um my acne specialist she's different from a der dermatologist because she actually goes through the ingredients with me on all of my skincare this is the only one of the only foundations that was really good for your skin um i wouldn't say good for your skin because you do need to let your skin breathe but this is one of the ones that i do like uh swear by and it's funny because before she recommended it i was already using it and it's something about this color this has so many different shades and i wish i was sponsored for this because i have so much to say about this product and one thing that i can say it does keep my skin matte for a while i do have to put on a powder though not only is it matte like i said it has so many different skin variations you know sometimes you have to mix certain colors like i feel like with mac i did have to mix a couple of colors because i did get darker 
um, in the summertime and you know I went back to my regular color in the winter time so this is the only one that has my color in it and I am if you're my color I'm in the color 360 mocha I highly recommend them and they're so cheap um, they're about like five to six dollars depending on where that you get them from you know compared to max foundation which is like 30 bucks I usually highlight my nose the bridge of my nose and um so i contour and then i highlight it and then sometimes i'll highlight my cheeks but if i'm not having so great skin um and this part is more textured i don't highlight this because it brings out the texture in your um, acne but i do highlight my nose and it just gives me that summer glow that warm summer glow so my favorites have been um and if you're in my skin color i'm pretty sure these will work for all skin types but especially for darker skin it's harder to find a um highlighter because you don't want it to look too ashy on your skin but i swear by cheeky bronze i use two highlighters for my nose by the way so i do i uh, use the cheeky bronze and i kind of like just highlight the outer of my nose if you guys watch my makeup tutorials you'll understand what i'm talking about and this one is in global glow and it's more of like a lighter kind of like i would say a little like if you don't use it right it could look a little ashy on your skin but it's more of like a natural and i do use it for here so i can like swatch it on my skin and like show you guys this is what that looks like like i said it could turn out to look a little ashy but this one's my favorite it's the cheeky bronze and it does give you like that warmer bronzier um glow see it's like a i don't know if you guys can see this on the camera but it's really pretty and it has it's iridescent so it has like little shimmers and stuff in there so it's like my pretend glow without being too oily i also really 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 swear by these um i usually have these in my pocket on the go or in my purse but i cannot like literally out of all these products this is probably the one that i cannot live without the most and they are oil absorbing sheets like i said if your skin is oily i do use the up and up brand and um i like these better than the clean they do have a clean and clear brand but i feel like it's they're more expensive and i think they have less these have 70 and they work just as well it's up and up the target brand and and this is what I used to do. I used to literally do my makeup and then when I would get oily, I would pow pile on um, powdered foundation and then it would just get to the point where my face would be like super cakey throughout the, throughout the day. So what these do is they come in these little blue sheets like this. This is what it does. And I just did my makeup, so I don't know if it's gonna work on camera, but I'll show you. I'll see if I can get some oil off my face. Cause I'm like literally almost oily. Look how it's, it sticks. So this is what is on my face right now. I'm going to do some more. And I usually just like go around. And like touch up. I probably just did my makeup like... And it looks crazy because I'll be like literally like doing this either at work in a mirror or um, if I'm in, a, in my car and I'm looking in my mirror, I'll literally like, if I feel my face being oily, I'll literally like blot it. And this is basically how much just came off. A little bit of your foundation comes off, but um, I don't think it's that bad. But this is how like oily my skin is, you know. I'm like super oily crazy right I like literally like swear by these and then they're disposable so you can just like literally just like toss them my final uh summer essential I would say it's more of like something that you can drink I absolutely hate water um I don't know what it is about water I think it's just like the plainness but the only reason the only way I would drink water is if I'm dehydrated by that time I'm like already dehydrated I should have drunk water you have to keep keep hydrated especially it's good for your skin and everything like that to have that you know nice perfect glowing skin i only drink 
water bottles. Um, I don't like drinking tap water. I don't like um, what Ben usually does is he uh, buys a water filter and he fills the jug up and everything like that. But I don't know. I feel like I love drinking out of a water bottle. It's better. This water is like super cold. But the only way that I would drink super cold water like this, especially on hot days, is if I have Mio. Mio is the only way that I will drink water. And I'm not even kidding. Like I would bring this to um a restaurant i will have this at work on my lunch break i cannot i just can't drink water and so i for this water right here i'll add like four you can do three but i do four and it literally tastes like kool-aid and it says it's zero calories or whatever and i imagine that it's not as good for you as regular water is but i don't think it's bad for you um correct me if i'm wrong but i just don't think it's bad for you i just think as long as you're getting enough water and liquids throughout the day um then and you know what you're putting into your body like not drinking juice or soda throughout the day something light like this then you know you're hydrated like if i'm drinking like you know four or six of these a day then that's keeping hydrated i don't think i can drink six i usually probably drink like four of these a day um, just being real but uh, my favorite is the berry pomegranate and that's like a perfect you know summer flavor and it looks like this like a really really light purple um, that's how you know it's not too much sugars and stuff and it literally I cannot it's not an you know how some of them like have like the weird aftertaste and stuff like that this doesn't have a weird aftertaste it's so good oh my gosh it's so good like I would like literally like I would not mind drinking and usually um before I discovered Mio like I literally would not finish a water bottle and now I'm like finishing like two water bottles at a time and I don't know I just love it and it's so hydrating and refreshing um that's how you know that Mio is okay for you because it's not like um soda or juice that keeps you wanting to drink more and more because you're dehydrated from all the sugars and stuff yeah you guys those are my summer favorites and i hope that um you know inspires you if you're like missing anything from your regular routine um to go out and purchase these products or you know just stay hydrated and stay you know looking your beautiful glowing self throughout the summer so i hope a lot of these like inspired and motivated you guys i thank you guys so much for always tuning in and you know, being so kind and thoughtful. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.